Hey, what is up guys? Guitar Rock here. Welcome back to another Brown Dust 2 video. Alright, in this video, beginner tips for you guys. I have 5 very important tips, uh, maybe 6. Uh, yeah, I think I'll have 6. 5 or 6, depending on how it is. There'll be some extra there. But here, uh, let's talk about a couple of things, alright, that hopefully can help you progress better if you guys are still like early stage in the game or you're still discovering the game. First things first, uh, let me turn on the turn off the chat because I just stre finished streaming earlier on Twitch, if you guys are not aware, twitch.tv slash guitarrock69. That's my channel, if you guys want to watch me stream Brown Dust 2 there occasionally. Alright, so I've prepared a notepad uh, listing down all of these tips. This one is going to be very very obvious. Tip number one. Alright, interact with objects. Every single object that you see, please interact with them because they will give you gold and if you're lucky, they will also give you gems. Like this thing right here, you can see. I'm gonna click on it. Someone broke the jar, okay, nothing happened right there. So just move around, scurry around uh, along every single corner because trust me, there'll be more gems than you can think. I think I've obtained like collectively 500 gems in a number of cities. So this one gives me gold, 825. But yeah, sometimes you do get gems, uh, approximately like 6 gems. Uh, or like 10 gems sometimes if you're lucky. This one gives me gold as well, 810. So yeah, anything that you can interact with, make sure you guys just do so, interact with any of these objects, uh, especially when you're exploring a new city. I believe you can only do once per item, alright? So for example, like items that have interacted before, they can no longer be interacted. So this one gives me 850 gold again. So you do get a decent chunk of gold and you know, sometimes gems this way. So that's something that you want to take advantage of. So pretty straightforward. Now let's move on to point number two. What is point number two? Let's see. Weapon banners are a scam? Question mark. Now this is something that uh, I think a lot of you guys have heard other players talk about as well, right? I just want to chime in a little bit on this. So if you guys are not aware, there's uh, costume banners, right? Right now, you can obtain character costume banners for this one. And then you also have weapon banners. Now, one thing that I get asked a lot is should you pull for weapon banners? Yes, weapon banners, you do get some exclusive, uh, what do you call that? You can also get their exclusive gear whatsoever uh, with extra stats. However, the issue is it's tied to them. So basically, uh, right now you can see if I go and look, I do obtain one for Celia. So let me show you guys. Celia's one. So this particular you can see I do get this Terra Concealer SR. Uh, this one I'm at plus 9 right now. So I do get two decent stats right here. Crit rate 5.83%. Uh, the plus 7.7% 7 is because I get the refinement up. So this is a decent piece of gear for sure, right? Not too bad alternatively, alternatively. But keep in mind this is going to be stuck on Celia. You cannot unequip this and equip this on someone else. So it's exclusive to her per se. So every single character will have their exclusive weapon limited to them whatsoever. You can basically later on, all right, go to here. Uh, I believe all of you guys have uh, tr tried this out already. Gear craft for any of your characters. Uh, a few different characters can do this. I like to use uh, this guy's one. You can see later on after you have unlocked a certain higher rarity, you can try to craft either SR or even UR gears later on. You can see some of these are the UR gears. Uh, there's some weapons, there's some armor. This is like the legendary Javelin, right? And then you also have the UR uh, sword, for example. Evil Dragon's Magic Blade ETC ETC. So you can see these are the materials required. You also need this thing, Ancient Crystal, which is apparently very, very rare. You can only obtain for two places. Uh, the Evil Castle and the Mirror Wars. So those are going to be limited per season, how many you are, uh, gears you can craft. But the truth is, these things are going to be, in a way, sort of, uh, I wouldn't say better, but they are way more flexible, right? It's not stuck to one character, so you can, uh, this is a sword, for example, you can basically give this to any character that can equip a sword, right? So that's going to be something that's uh, kind of beneficial in a way, so I can see the comparison right there. You're having a character exclusive weapon. If you have those, it's stuck to that character only, or would you rather craft something that's like universal, that you can unequip for certain characters and give it to certain characters, 
Later on, you will have an ability to also modify the substats if you are worried about that. So don't worry too much about the substats for now. You'll obtain the item that will be able to help you to do so. So that's going to be something to consider. So I wouldn't recommend pulling for the weapon banner unless you are a whale. Alright, if you are a whale, go all in. If you are free to play or if you are a low spender, more than likely you want to stay off from the weapon banner for now. And you know, just... You know, just let's see if they will ever improve this banner altogether and just focus on the character banner because you're gonna need a bunch of dupes, right? Up to plus 5 for each of the character banner. Now next one, this is going to be something that's very very important. Uh, level up ability skills. Alright, like I mentioned, if you don't level up your ability skills, you're not going to be able to advance to a certain rank. For example, right now, uh, this particular one, uh, I forgot this guy's name. What's his name? Lugo Fred? I keep forgetting his name. Uh, let me just check, alright? So, Fred. Okay, so Fred right here, alright, you can see my ability to craft gears is still quite limited, right? So I cannot craft SR gears yet. So if I want to craft SR gears, I will need to unlock his ability higher, alright? I need to push himself higher. So I'll do that later on for sure. Right now you can see uh, I'm gonna need to get all of these materials. Every time you perform any action with any of these characters, they are going to have an ability or EXP, right? Ability EXP to be able to cap out. And then once you reach the cap, you can basically level up to the next level. Hopefully you guys are aware of that. So let me try and get this. I'm going to show you guys the process. I'm going to get this plywood. I need to do alchemy crafting to get plywood. So who can do alchemy crafting? Shirazet. Shizarat. What the hell you pronounce that? So let's go here. So plywood. So I'm going to try to take... Uh, how many can I take? I'll take five. Do this. So notice there's this AXP down here that gives you the, the progress bar. So I did get myself some plywood right there. So let me move a little bit to this side so you guys can see. The trees shouldn't block. Okay, so come here and then I'm going to click on this. Notice I will try to craft. Can I craft two? Alright, I can craft two. I need two. Alright, so notice this is my AXP plus six. High quality and exceptional night stuff. So that's going to be good. I'm going to try to equip that on Celia hopefully. So yeah, make sure you guys craft as many gears as you can so that Fred will be able to unlock uh, more of these bonuses later on. Alright, so that's going to be something that's very important. Uh, also, we'll talk about a few other abilities later on, right? So next up, let's talk about weapon. I am aware that a lot of you guys have been trying to plus 9 your weapon altogether. Now that's going to be very, very expensive. You're going to need a ton of gold. So obviously, that's something that uh, maybe you guys are doing right now. And let's jump into it. I'm going to show you guys uh, what I'm talking about. Uh, let's go here. So for this girl, I mean not this girl. Let's see, Celia. I think Celia is going to be a good example. So let me see if I can uh, find her. Because Celia used this stuff. So we just literally obtain a new stuff. I'm going to throw this away. Remove. And I'm going to give her the new one that we obtain. Either this one, which increased by 12, or this one by 19. Okay, so uh, I'm going to equip this one. Alright. So this one you can see magic attack 12, uh, crit damage 16%. Okay, so I'm going to try to upgrade this particular one. And I'm going to show you guys. It's going to be very expensive, obviously. Uh, you can see upgrade one time is going to be 60, right? So uh, hopefully, maybe you guys can't see my amount of gold. I have about 300,000 right now. If I do 10 times, it's going to cost 600 gold. And looks like I got lucky. I managed to get all the way up there. By the way, these two stats are random. So it gets super expensive, especially once you are trying to get them to plus 9. And I did not get to plus 9. I'm still at plus 8. So you can see it gets super, super expensive. So my advice is, early on, don't try to focus on getting plus 9. At least try to get every single gear that you have to at least plus 6. Or, you know either plus 6 or plus 3 first, try to balance it out. So once you max out this gear, if you guys are not aware, you have the option to refine. Alright, to refine, you can use this thing, the refinement, refining powder, alright, same like the old brown dust game. You can do this multiple times, alright, I managed to get a better quality right there. Pretty good, pretty good, I'll be keeping that one for now. So yeah, uh, if you cannot get your gears to plus 9, don't worry about it too much. That's going to cost a lot of gold. And definitely, uh, if you are super in the early stage trying to progress, uh, try to get your weapon, especially if you want to improve your damage. And also for your tank, focus on the armor. Focus selectively. So make sure that you guys are, you know, be smart with your resources. 
ideally the gold so that you don't spend them too much next tip combining scrolls all right i need to talk about this we need to talk about this because this is going to be something that's uh, a little bit scary right so let's uh first find the teleportation part of the map and i'm gonna go here and show you guys what i'm talking about if you guys are not aware the scrolls are going to be how you recruit the characters from the pub i'm sure you guys are aware of that from the tavern you will be able to obtain characters selectively now when you come here you can use your cook rice and what whatsoever right so go down here notice you can combine scrolls into the high rarity ones so these are going to be the the lowest rarities one the the three star scrolls can be combined into one four star contract 10 of those will become one four star contract and 10 of these will become one five star contract now if you want to you can base if i want to i can basically combine this right now and form a bunch of you know okay so i can form a bunch of of i can form at least one five star contract but i want you guys to pay attention to this very very carefully before you combine just like trigger happy and combine all of them something that you want to keep in mind is also you want to take advantage of the tavern because if you guys are not aware the tavern it's actually easier for you to recruit all the three stars first so that they don't appear there anymore so if you guys are not aware basically uh you can only as far as i know they will only appear in the tavern just one time so once uh you have recruited them before they will not appear there again so let me show you guys an example right for my particular one i believe we have cry right here and andrew right so andrew right here and up here we have Jaden. okay so Jaden and andrew i've never obtained them before but if i were to uh, recruit this Jaden using the scroll Jaden would never appear anymore so ideally you can also try to take advantage of that like settle all the three stars first so that they don't appear anymore so that only the four star and the five stars will appear in your tavern so that's going to increase your probability of getting the five star characters so hopefully you guys be smart with the resources don't just go spend all out because uh yeah scrolls is something that you ha can obtain in pvp for sure but eventually i do think that you're going to be able to recruit every single character and one more thing that uh, i forgot to mention in my previous video right is regarding this particular one steel all right so if you never watched my previous video i was comparing within slimes uh your stamina your cook rice so why did I recommend players to farm slimes, right? That's going to be something that a lot of people have been asking me. Hey, Guitar Rock, why do you ask people to farm slime over farming in the, you know, hunting ground per se, like this one. For example, right here, you can farm for materials to basically uh, craft your gear. The reason why uh, this is not worth it, for example, if I come here and fight this monster, it's going to drop like some materials that I can use to craft my gear, right? So one of these materials, uh, let me go to the back. So usually you'll either get like, for example, this thing, you will get the plane ladder or sometimes you will get the, the pit. All right. So these are good. Obviously, you need a bunch of these to get the higher rarity ones. You need a bunch of the lower rarity ones. You want the alchemy them all together. However, all right, one thing to consider is you got to take advantage of stealing. Uh, that's going to be way more efficient. Now, you can do this to every single character that you can talk to. Uh, basically, you just click on the map, right? You see this smiley face? All of this smiley face? Go approach them, all right? Talk to them like normal, and then steal from them. Like this guy you can talk to, Serious Fruit Merchant. Notice you have the ability to steal, all right? Just steal every single day. You can see I have a chance to get one of these. Alright, so 65% chance because I've already upgraded to intermediate, but uh, at beginner, it's going to be 60%, right? So if I try to steal, it's going to consume the ability portion for sure. Alright, let's see if it's fail or not. So that's a success. Alright, so I got 50 plane ladder. That's way more than how much you can farm from the monsters. So doing this is going to be way more worth it. You can do 3 steal per person that you can talk to, alright? Which is quite efficient. So this is a fail. If they, you see the character bow, that's going to be a fail. So I'm going to try again. Still. Okay, distract, distract. Oh man. Two fails in a row? Come on. What are the odds of that? Okay, this is going to be succeed. Success. 70% for you. Come on. Okay. That's a success. Okay, I got plain fabric right here. Times 50. Last but not least, uh, Richnet is going to steal a different item, right? From the other two. You can see melon, wheat, saffron, rice. Uh, one of these things. 
So, ideally three characters, Bernie, Andrew, and Richnet. If you have them, then you can perform three steel. Initially, I thought it's three steel per day, but it's three steel per day per character. Alright, so per smiley face character that you can steal from. Like, for example, this is one guy. Now I can go here and talk to someone else. Let's see. I can also talk to this girl right here, overheating lady. I can steal for her, from her as well. Every single city can go inside the tavern. Uh, if you go inside the tavern, right? This one, you are still st stealing the items. If you go inside the tavern or any any particular one that's inside the tavern, let me see uh, any uh, NPCs that's inside any building. For example, this one, right? So let's see who is inside here again. If I'm not mistaken, it's the girl that helps you out. Yeah, this one. So you can also talk to her. So for this particular girl, right? Oh, she gives you this item as well. But some of them gives you gold. Alright, pay pay attention to that. For example, the one that manages the tavern, the pub. Okay, so you can obtain EXP points when you can promote it. So I'm just going to see if I can go to the right place and show you guys what I'm talking about, right? Okay, I think this is the one that I'm talking about. So let's see. So the inn. Alright, the inn and the tavern. So let's try and steal. Notice this one will only drop gold. Now, if you need gold, uh, stealing from them seems to make more sense than trying to farm the Goblin Dungeon, at least early on. Look at this. Alright, so I'm gonna distract. How much gold did I get? 1000! That is a lot of gold, alright? If you farm in the Goblin Dungeon, it takes you so long to give you so little. Alright, you, you need to farm like, at least like 3 to 4. Alright, again, I get another 1000 easily. Do this to all the city and then you'll get plenty of gold. So yeah, uh, these are all the beginner tips that I've gathered so far. If you guys have anything you want to share, please leave it in the comment section below. I'll try to read them. Uh, yeah, let me know if there's got any bonus tips that you guys want to add and you guys have discovered so far. I think it's very important. Hopefully, I've been enjoying the game a ton. Hopefully, uh, some of these tips will be able to help some of you guys that are still starting out or still discovering the game. Alright, so that's gonna be it for this video. Subscribe, give this video a like. I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a nice day. Goodbye.